Like, I want y'all to look at this hairline. No baby hairs. I'm over here in the bushes, girl. Respect it. <laughs> Hi, ladies and gentlemen, and everybody in between. I am back with somebody else's hair, and guess what? It is another get ready with me. And this is a real one. I'm actually going somewhere, so. <laughs> I don't know if people wear Victoria's Secret push up bras to run errands, but I do, girl. I got B cups. I gotta do what I gotta do. <laughs> For today, I wanted to do a really, really simple, quick toss on a wig and go look, and I'm telling you, this full get, get ready with me is super simple, super easy. This wig, I plopped it on my head, like pulled it out of the box, crazy. I ain't had to do no customization, anything. Like it's insane. And as far as the face, I did like a really, really simple face. And girl, this is a one piece outfit. We trying to make it simple and I'm trying to get out the door and be super cute. So I actually have to stop by the mall today, but I'm not getting out of my car, but I at least want to be cute in my car. You know what I'm saying? Like. <laughs> Before we go ahead and get into that, I want to ask y'all, could you like and subscribe and hit the post notification bell just so you can see every single time I post because I'm coming to you every single week with brand new looks, full get ready with me's vlogs, all types of stuff, shorts, girl, I'm all over the place. <laughs> and I want to say thank you to OMG Her Hair for providing this week to me and sponsoring this video because I'm telling you, let's go ahead and get into this look. It's going to be super duper simple, super quick, perfect for beginners, and it's giving, like, I want y'all to look at this hairline. No baby hairs. You ain't even got to worry about baby hairs though. Like, come on. Like, no baby hairs, nothing. It's just giving hair line. Y'all, look at this parting space. If you want to see everything I did to apply this wig and get this look and how easy it was, like, I'm promising you, super easy. Please keep on watching and I'll be back to do the quick face, supernatural face, and the outfit. So of course you're gonna receive your wig in the OMG Her Hair box. I love this box, it's a gorgeous gray color. You know the millennials love a gray. And inside that box you'll receive some gifts. All the gifts that you see on the screen may not be the gifts that you receive, but these are the ones I receive. But the most important part, baby, is your wig. So this wig is a coarse, yakky textured, straight, 13 by six HD lace wig. This wig is 20 inches long and 150% density. This wig comes with a pre-plucked hairline, bleached knots. Girl, it's already flat and girl, she's ready to go straight out of the box. So of course, when I did my base, I made it really simple, no ball cap method over here. It's going to be a wig grip, a wig cap, and we gonna get to the business, baby. We gonna get to this wig. So this wig, obviously, once I put her on, I said, oh my God, this hairline is perfection. Yes, you can see my wig cap, we'll fix it later. What I'm gonna do now is just cut off the lace. Usually I would tint the lace at this point and I considered it, but I said, you know what? I know OMG, her hair has my back. So what I'm gonna do is cut this lace off and we just go make some shake. So when I cut it off, it was really, really simple. There was a little bit of extra lace over my ears, but I just cut over it and that's it. Next, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply the wig. Girl, that's it. I'm just gonna take the even lace bond spray and I'm just gonna spray over the lace. I felt like spraying over the lace would make it melt a little bit better. Sometimes when I spray under the lace, it doesn't melt as well and I still get that white cast. So I sprayed over the lace to see if it would melt down and get rid of that white cast and give me more of a scalp-like look. And baby, when I tell you, it didn't disappoint. So I just sprayed over it twice. Usually I did two layers. Spray over it twice and then I'll take my Dyson blow dryer I like to use a diffuser because it doesn't blow so harshly on cool just to set it and forget it. And baby, all I had to do was take the end of the rat tail comb, just melt it down a little bit. And it was like, girl, it's heaven. Okay. I'm melting it down, making sure no parts are lifted. I didn't even melt the hairline, no headband, no nothing, no baby hairs, no nothing. Now, all I have to do is correct this part because obviously I don't do the ball cap method. So I'm taking my Mac stick foundation, I'm not sure what color this is, just to correct the part and make it look, look like I got an actual scalp girl because it was giving disjointed. But look at this hairline, like in person it looks this good. Now, all I have to do now is style the hair just a little bit. So either you can wear it straight out of the box, no styling, no curling, no nothing, or you can do a little bit of styling. So I'm gonna take my wax stick from She Is Bomb, you can get it from Amazon, and I'm just going to hot comb that part. Now I usually don't do this. 
I'm not like super invested in having a flat wig. I don't know what that is, but I don't really care that much. But lately I've been doing it and it's been worth it. So I'm just flattening that part and it looks like, girl, this looks like my hair. Like you could just leave it like this and leave out the house. But of course I want to see how this hair is styled and curled. I'm not gonna cut this wig. I know y'all are gonna be proud of me, but I'm not gonna cut it. And I'm just going to separate this hair in little sections and we're about to curl. Now y'all already know what tool I'm about to bring out. I'm bringing out my girl, the cheese spinning curl. The cheese spinning curl is that girl. I'm just gonna curl the hair away from the face and I just wanna give it light waves. Straightening the hair, keeping the hair super straight is a little bit harder to me than curling it. I much rather put a little bump in it, just a little bump, 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 a little B2K to make it look like something. So I'm just gonna curl away from the face. It's on a 19 second hold. I think this is the highest degree. I think it's 450 degrees, I'm not sure but we're just gonna curl it away from the face and then flatten that part once again and do the same thing on the other side. This was super quick. I think I curled all of this hair by like within 20 minutes and I'm gonna take my Pantene air spray and I'm just going to set the, um, the curls. I don't even know why I blanked on that. I'm gonna set the curls and then set my part one more again, girl. I don't want no flyaways, no nothing. And I'm just gonna separate the curls with my fingers just to see what waves we get. Of course, this is a yakky textured wig. Usually textured wigs don't hold curls as well as other textures. So I like a little wave to my wig. And this is the finished look. It's so simple, so easy, so gorgeous. And I'm was so easy to install because I didn't have to do one baby hair. The hairline looks like it's growing out of my scalp. So if you are interested in this wig, I'll leave a link for it down below. Also, I'll leave a coupon code for you down below for you to get $30 off. So get your money, friend. Now let's go ahead and get into this face. Okay, y'all, let's go ahead and get, oh, let me just zoom y'all in, okay? Okay. Can y'all see me? Let's go ahead and get started with the face. I need to hurry up and get out of this room. I'm gonna let y'all know right now, y'all know I'm about to complain. These Georgia allergies are taking me out, okay? <laughs> so, I mean, obviously I need to get out of this room because either, either way, girl, this pollen all up in this room and it's all up in my throat. But anyways, <laughs> what am I even talking about? So the goal today is to do a very, 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 very simple face because I'm just trying to run errands and I'm actually, y'all see it's daylight outside. It is 5.53 and I need to um, pick up some food and pick up some a pickup order from Nordstrom. So I'm gonna do like a actual, I'm running out the door sort of face. Baby, this hairline is eating. Like I can't even tell you how shocked I was. I Like I, it's really giving. And it's giving me this facelift that I want. So this is gonna be really, really easy. So I'm just gonna use stick foundations for my face. So in order to prime my face, I'm gonna use the NYX Bear With Me Prime Set and Refresh Spray. And I'm just gonna spray the face real quick just to get it together. I would put on a headband, but what we need a headband for, girl? The hair is long. It can just be pushed behind my shoulders. You know what I'm saying? Let me get my mouth. My mouth has been so dry lately. Like, I don't know what is going on. Y'all tell me how you doing down below while we do our makeup. Let's do our makeup together. What are you doing today? <laughs> Today's, um, what's today? Thursday? It's Thursday. So, we are just, oh, that's a lot of makeup around the mouth. Oops. I'm gonna do a little bit like in this area some down here, basically the whole face, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna take a sponge, we're just gonna blend this in. But today I'm doing good. I'm still trying to work on being productive because I lollygagged today. That's why I'm filming late. This is actually late. I've been wanting to film early in the morning, but I just can't seem to get myself like going. I be doing other stuff, so. Yeah, I'm feeling a little bit late today, but that's okay. But I'm actually feeling good. Like, I'm feeling great today. Outside of the allergies, if you live in Georgia, you already know what it is. Or if you've been to Georgia, you already know what it is. Girl, it will take you out. Especially if you're not, like, used to this sort of weather. weather. Oh, my God. It will get you together. Use a little... No, not walnut skin. Which one is it? Girl, I got... 
Look at all these Bobbi Brown stick foundations. Like, I have a problem. I was just watching, um, speaking of dragging your face, I was just watching Bailey Syrians. Um, do y'all like Bailey Syrian? Y'all let me know down below. Somebody at, told me that I remind them of Bailey, and I'm like, how? <laughs> her personality is top, so. Like, she's one of those girls, I'm like, oh my God, I wanna hang out with her. But I was watching Bailey Syrians, um, Dark History, and she was talking about plastic surgery. I don't know how, I just thought about, but I was thinking like, man, um, plastic surgery has come a long way. I didn't even know it started so long ago. Why am I even talking about this? I have no idea. If I were to get some stuff done, I'm gonna use the Bobbi Brown Stick Foundation in Neutral Golden, and on my face, I used the Bobbi Brown Stick Foundation in Walnut Skin. But I was looking at my face today and I was like, wow, my face has changed. Well, first of all, since I got Invisalign, but also since I've gotten older. And I was like, man, I was thinking about like, what would I do to my face if I were to get stuff done? And I definitely, I feel like I would do fillers. Like I would get my lips filled and my smile lines filled, but like, I would ever do that like in real life I don't think that's something I would ever do like I'm telling myself that now because I don't know if it's worth it like if you let me if you have fillers please let me know I'm just gonna go ahead and blend this in my under eyes just to highlight under the eyes slightly but this is like almost like my skin tone but just like a tad bit lighter and it's super light on the skin. So I'm just gonna go over the nose as well, up onto the forehead. But you know what I was thinking? Like, a lot of the girls that I watch have gotten something done to their face. And I always, like, like on YouTube, and I know why now. People that do, like, social media influencing, or even most people now, we look at ourselves so much more than, the, than we used to. Like, back in the day, I only looked at myself in the mirror when I was looking in the mirror, but when I was walking around, I didn't see my face. I didn't have a phone. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like when we were younger, we didn't have that. Now we have that. I see why people get plastic surgeries like crazy because we look at our face way too much nowadays. What, what am I looking for? I'm just gonna highlight under the eyes, but I want to vow to myself that I really don't want to get anything done to my face. That is my goal. Never to get anything done to my face. I'm gonna take golden skin. I wonder if this is like a tad bit lighter. I think it is. Uh, not really. I'm just gonna set it with a powder. But you see how that looks? Like it looks like skin, but baby, I'm not done. That is so pretty. Oh my God, I need to go back. I feel like I need to go to the outlets one more time. Let's see. And I'm gonna take the Walnut Skin Stick Foundation in the color, um, I cannot find this color at the, um, at, let me put this on my face. I can't find it anymore at um, the CCS. I got all this makeup from the CCS. All those stick foundations were $10 and they're originally more, more than that. I'm actually gonna buy this one full price because it's not at the CCS anymore. But yeah, it looks so amazing and it doesn't add like a layer of texture to the skin. Like I'm in love with Bobbi Brown stuff. Like they know how to make products for the girls. I'm just blending this in to the forehead. Y'all see how that's, <gasps> some of y'all said that. I think somebody has said that my stuff be too orange sometimes, it does. But I like that orange look, especially for the springtime. Well, practically all year, girl. I'm just gonna blend this in. Blend it all together. So we go under, y'all see that? Oh. That's, this became a full face way too fast. <laughs> I love good juicy stick foundations. If y'all have a good stick foundation I can use, please let me know. But anyways, yeah, I just feel like we look at ourselves at an unnatural amount and then we, <laughs> I start thinking of things that I never would have thought of. It's crazy. Okay, why am I still holding this? Okay. Baby, that's a full face already. Okay, I just want like a light brush. So I'm gonna use my favorite blush, the NYX Wonder Stick. And it's a cream blush, but it's in the color Coral, what is this, Coral? Deep Peach, every single time. Y'all already know what I use, so I'm just gonna add this. 
Girl, I, be, I really be coming on here like, okay, so let's <laughs> do a makeup routine. Knowing I do the same makeup routine. Like every single time. Am I blending the whole face? I'm just gonna blend the whole face together. I think I'm blending the whole face. Let's get down on this neck. That's what I need to do. Let me get that neck, girl. Now I'm just going to set it and forget it. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my, where's my? I think I might have to use this. I'm gonna have to use my um, Amazon little spongy thing. And I'm just gonna set with my Laura Mercier translucent powder real quick. And we all set it and forget it. Right under the eye. Oh, girl. I always say this is gonna be a natural look. Girl, natural to who? Where are you going? I'm gonna get right here under the nose. Right here. I'm so hungry right now. I need to go pick up some food. So I'm just gonna go around the corner and pick up something to eat with a full beat, girl. All right, I'm gonna set it down here. I'm obviously rushing. Oh my God. My stomach is pop locking and dropping it right now. Get the eyebrows, y'all know I like to powder my brows so they don't look so shiny. Cause when they're shiny, they look like tattoo brows. Y'all seen them tattoo brows? Like it be looking like that. And then I'm just gonna do the whole nose. <laughs> At this point, girl, I'm gonna have the nerve to call this a no foundation look. I know I am. If, if it said no foundation look, I wasn't lying, but I definitely was stretching the truth, girl. I'm gonna use my dark deep um, powder. And we're gonna go ahead and set the face. This is a MAC Dark Deep Studio Fix Perfecting Powder. Or should I use Warm Chestnut from Barbie Brown? Which one's, ooh. Okay, so I'm gonna take the Dark Deep from MAC. I'm gonna take a like slightly fluffy brush and we're just gonna lightly set it so I don't have more texture. I don't want more texture on the skin. I just want to set it. Ooh. Are y'all watching Real Housewives of Miami? I just finished watching part two. Oh my God, it's so good. I feel like out of all the Real Housewives, that's one of the best ones. And it's on Peacock, like what? They should definitely have that on regular TV because it's such a good show. Like it's so good. All right, I'll get the nose. There we go. Girl, and I just started getting into Vanderpump Rules, like just now, it's so good. This is a lot of makeup. Where's a blush brush? I think I'm gonna have to use this one. I'm gonna use this blush brush and I'm just gonna go ahead, go ahead and set the face. Do I have? Girl, I need to get my light together. <laughs> I feel like an elf came in here <laughs> and stole my blush. There's a little elf running around <laughs> blushing. I know it. Oh, uh, what's right here? Not me blaming on Santa's helpers. Like, girl, get out of here. Okay, so I'm gonna use my lip bar palette. And this blush is called Grinding. And I'm just gonna like add it right there. You know, just a little. And I like a little blush. The girls are adding it like right here, but I wonder if that looks good on my face. Why not? Oh, that is cute up there. Oh, okay, I see. I see. I be hating on these TikTok trends. <laughs> I see makeup TikTok trends. I've like, been doing that. I've been doing that. Y'all are lay. What does it prove? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take my um, Too Faced pomade and a pencil. I'm obviously rushing, so please forgive me. And I'm just gonna redo my eyebrows i did them before i got on camera but i'm just gonna refill them in a bit okay so that's done i'm just gonna do this side and i'm just doing like more detailed hair 
hair like strokes like that up up around oh and then we're gonna do the lips and I'm gonna punch it girl oh then we're done and then we're gonna get dressed I'm just gonna put on my outfit what I'm gonna wear Okay, now for the lips, I'm gonna go ahead and take my Laneige lip balm. Oh, this is my favorite lip balm. I'm just gonna toss it on. Oh, and I already did, y'all already know, I do my lashes. I do, I did like shorter ones because I wanted to give natural today. I feel like natural would have been like not putting on lashes, but I feel like that's not an option. Like, I feel like <laughs> you're doing the most. <laughs> not trying to put on lashes. So I'm gonna do my lips. It's going I need to get a more natural lip liner because every single time. I do this lip liner, it just don't, you know? Lip bar sent me, actually this is the one I bought, but lip bar sent me some, um, a PR package with the Soft Kisses Nourishing Lipstick. And I tell you it's perfect for summertime because it's like a lip balm. And it's so moisturizing and like really natural. I need to get like one that's a tad bit lighter. But it moisturizes the lips, it doesn't dry it out. And you still get good color payoff. Like, isn't that pretty? <gasps> okay. I also drank five cups of tea and I'm about to go to Starbucks and get some more, so. Y'all don't, <laughs> don't talk about me. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face down. One more time. Then get dressed. Ooh, my hair is like not, you know what I'm saying? Like the curls are falling. But the way that the hairline is looking, like it's insane. Like I'm fooling myself. <laughs> you can pull it, it's all mine. <laughs> you can pull it, it's all mine. <laughs> okay. That's the one thing about stick foundations. I, I don't think they settle the way I think they should settle, but mm, whatever. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get dressed and then I'm gonna tell you the fragrance I'm wearing and then we can go ahead and get out of here and I can pick up some food. And I can pick up my Nordstrom order because if they take that back, girl, nothing's gonna happen. <laughs> so let me go ahead and get dressed real quick. Okay, y'all, this is the finished look. Look at the hair. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Like. I'm telling you, I looked at the hair in the mirror and I was like, you really can't tell that this is a wig. Like, unless you're, oh, I got a little bit too much lace right here. I should've cut some of that off. But unless you're uncomfortably close, you wouldn't even know that this is a wig. I'm telling you, friend. Like, I'm telling you, it looks absolutely gorgeous. Let me show you what it looks like in the back. Like, oop, not my bra strap. <laughs> It is stunning. I'm gonna show you my outfit in a minute before I head out the door because after this, I'm gonna say peace to y'all. This is the makeup. It actually is really seamless. It's not creasing. <clears throat> I feel like this is good, like daytime makeup. Now for fragrance, I'm gonna, let me see. I could do Tom Ford, but girl, it's daytime. That's a lot. That's doing way too much. So I think I'm gonna do my Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. Spray, I'm actually almost out of this, almost out of this, and my beautiful Belle Estee Lauder. This is like my favorite daytime scent. I don't know how many people actually like this, but I love this scent. So, let's see. Go ahead and pop this on. So I'm gonna use this Brazilian Crush 71. So, De Janeiro, I don't know. I'm just gonna spray that down. I am. Oh, it just smells like, oh. It's like chocolatey, it's warm. I could use another body spray. I wonder what this. Actually, I'm gonna use this body spray. This is a Finery from Target. This is more like a, what scent is this? Finery, I'm a must. So it's a musk body mist. So I'm just gonna spray this one. I feel like that's a good daytime, like really, really fresh scent. Let's do body sprays today. I love this Finery brand. What is this, Before the Rainbow? 
this before the rain up rainbow is really nice but this is more like a i like to wear this to the gym for some reason like it gives me gym scent because it's kind of bright i don't know what the notes are on this but it's, it's actually really cute i think i can do a little bit i'm gonna do one more spray girl i'm gonna go out here smelling like a perfume store and i'm gonna use the beautiful bell one spray of that because it's really bright and fruity and it reminds me of like daytime vacation like it smells like the day oh and it's giving me a shine on my boobs <laughs> so let's show the outfit the purse and then i gotta punch it girl i'm hungry i really need to get something to eat okay y'all so all i got is this little corner because i didn't want to go outside but do i have like somewhere to put this stand up okay y'all so this is the outfit. I'm over here in the bushes, girl. Respect it. <laughs> this is a naked wardrobe, like pants with like, well, this is a naked wardrobe. I forgot what this is called, but it's a one piece, girl. It's a one piece. I forgot what it's called. It's by, it's on the bear line. It's like their new line. I'm loving their stuff, but, and it has like a zip down thing. You can zip it all the way up, but I like to wear it like this and I'm wearing it with my socks like my scrunch socks and my favorite nike um air max what are these airs nike air to the shoe girl my allergies are giving it to me and i'm gonna wear it with my coach bag oh that's it show you the bag girl my bra is all out but i said you know what i want to push up my boobs today so we got to sacrifice because I don't have like I need to go to Victoria's Secret and get a push-up bra that doesn't you know what I'm saying that doesn't show in the back I need like a racer back one I probably should go pick that up but this is a good bar bra though I wanted to get boot today you know jewelry I'm wearing my nine west watch I love this watch but I think it's starting to turn or at least get scratched up and my Kate Spade um I think this is a Cartier dupe bracelet love the bracelet like absolutely love it but that's it i've been doing way too much and i'm about to walk out the door looking like this i'm about to get lunch and it's seven o'clock so i need to get my life together um i think i sucked in enough i can't do it no more girl i need to get out of here i need to go get something to eat i'm super duper hungry and it's getting dark and y'all know i've been trying to get outside before it gets dark and girl i got i'm getting out by the skin of my teeth so i love you all thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video Bye.